my name is Thomas Bengler. Uh, I'm a third year psychology with business student. So it's my final year now and I have to kind of uh, make my mind open about the future. As you might have heard from my accent, I'm originally from Germany, so I chose uh, Kingston for actually two reasons. Uh, one of them, it's like a really, really small university from what I understood. Um, it's, it's not that small, but it kind of keeps up a small university feeling, uh, which I really appreciate. Um, the second thing is there's like a high percentage of international students, which kind of helps me to get an insight about um, different cultures, different, the way different people are ticking. Um, so I, I can actually conduct some field research, if you want to put it this way. Yeah, actually, I enjoy um, the whole scientific um, um, approach to understanding people uh, the most because from my point of view you can always make your theories about how individuals are taking but if you really boil it down and you do um, um, surveys and all the statistics it's really appealing to me because it follows a certain logical aspect and you can actually compare it which kind of yeah I really I'm a logical person I have to admit so this is the aspect of my um, psychology part that I enjoy the most. When it comes to my business part on the other side, um, I enjoy um, having like an insight about how different strategies are ticking and actually bringing those two sides together. It is sometimes quite a challenge, but it really works for me. Well, um, I didn't study psychology when I was in high school, um, but I have to admit I did a lot of acting and I loved acting, not only kind of pretending to be someone else, but also thinking my way into like another character's perspective. Um, also, I was um, quite the person of trust for most of my uh, colleagues and friends. And when I heard about psychology and also looked about the different uh, portfolio, um, different aspects of psychology, I could basically run through it and say, okay, tick, tick, tick. I like to talk to people. I'm interested into, um, into going scientific. Um, I like statistics. It's like the, one of the uh, areas of math which I'm, I was actually good at. So. I wasn't kind of afraid of doing a lot of statistical analy analysis. Um, um, yeah, so I would say lots of transferable skills that I already had, but I didn't have psychology as a subject. Well, um, you know, first of all, of course, you have psychology labs, which um, offer a wide range of applications. So it's not only a simple room where you kind of observe a participant. We have um, facilities in which we uh, can have actually installed CCTV cameras so we can observe the people but also avoid uh, that they see how we uh, observe them to um, kind of avoid a bit of biasing. Um, we also have small computer labs and also recently I think we acquired eye tracking software so we can actually kind of measure uh, cognitive procedures such as how often are people looking where and we also have um, a bit of uh, biomedical equipment so um, we have for example um, uh, measurements for um, experiments with uh, stimulants which is yeah which I, ha I haven't had the fun to working with but I know they are available and some of the students are actually using them. The whole style of um, assessment and learning is a bit different from module to module whether it's a business or psychology one but in general it's assessed of uh, two or three uh, big assessment bits so usually have a mixture of an exam at the end of the year and some sort of essay report or something um, on the other side. However, sometimes it could happen that uh, you do something like on a weekly basis test, especially in the first year when it comes to statistical methods, where you can like get yourself tested and checked on a weekly basis. And it's like an easy way to um, get credit points uh, because it's not a big amount you have to learn. Um, so it has all its pros and cons, but it's definitely more like wide range, uh, wide planned activities where you have to learn to manage your own time. Uh, in terms of uh, lectures and seminars, it's about uh, uh, four times. Uh, I have usually like uh, four lectures. Each is about one hour and then you have for each module also a two hour seminar or the other way around, um, two hour lecture, one hour seminar. Um, on top of that, you also have the opportunity to uh, get in touch with uh, your lecturers and staff um, on their open, the open hours. So you can get in touch with them, go in the office or make an appointment and ask individual questions that you weren't, um, that you weren't, that you didn't have while you were in the seminar. So you can get more support, you can get more, um, yeah, more help, more feedback if you want to. 
Of course, if you overdo it at some point, every lecture has its limit, but definitely there is support available if you need it. Since the lectures are really kind of widespread and the rest is managing your own time, I do work um, also on a wide range of different jobs. Um, I mean, for me personally, it's not so much about the cash because uh, I get sufficient support, but for me it's just work experience, so just transferable skills if it comes from presentation, if it comes for um, uh, kind of working in a group or something like this. It's all transferable skills that help me out and I went to some uh, interviews for like a job search after my graduation and one of the first questions I always encounter, do we have uh, work experience of some kind? What sort of experience do you have already? Um, and so I think it is, it is quite a good bit to have some work experience, as long as it's not the majority of your effort going into um, working. I would like to do a master's uh, in terms of, so I want to study further in order to specialize in the field I'm interested in, which is uh, occupational psychology, so applied psychology in the business world. Um, but on the other hand, I'm also looking for work opportunities, for example, in HR or in marketing, just to get a feeling and get some more relevant work experience that I could then later on include in a master. So I don't only have the theory, but also know how to apply it in which context.